What are you doing today? So today we'll be actually changing out the drive, changing out the parameters, checking fuses, and well, let's just say it's a lot of work. So what we're doing today is replacing a drive and right now we're going to be taking the parameters from one drive and putting it in another drive. Alright, so this is going to be the drive that we're going to be replacing. The drive is blown, so make sure the power is off of it, there's no power coming in. This is the drive's main panel. We are about to check the fuses to make sure that they are good. That one's good. All right, so since we have popped two fuses, we're about to put the fuses back in and make sure everything is good to go. All right, let's check our fuses real quick. Got power, nothing's popped so far. As you can see, nothing's popped yet. We're good to go. We need the panel open for a moment. Let's go check our drive. Make sure we good power. We already have replaced, we already took out one drive, and right now we're getting the parameters and from a different drive to put into the new drive. We're doing this based off of a conveyor system here. <clears throat> And we're going to be using so move to take the parameters. We're working with a Snyder drive here. So first you want to connect your Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable connected, drive is to power it on. And Snyder provides this connection. One side is USB, the other side is Ethernet. You plug the USB into the computer here. All right, once you've done that, you go over here to your so move program. All right. So next thing all you really have to do, what you want to do is you want to take the parameters from this drive and save it to your computer. So we're going to load from device. All right, and it asks for you to save it. We're gonna be like, gonna name the bitch. Okay. And we're gonna save this to our desktop here. Easy access. All right, and then we just hit save and let it do its thing. On this right here, when this screen pops up, just acknowledge it. Hit OK.
Now, if you don't have your catalog updated, you will need to download your catalog. I will provide a link for you to access that off the Snyder website. If not, your device won't connect. You won't be able to find your device for it to connect. So make sure your catalog is updated. All right, so it said load from device is successful. All right, and that's it for that. Next we will be, next we'll be uploading our parameters to the new device, to the new drive. And as you can see down here, See right here, we downloaded the file to our desktop and we'll be uploading those parameters to the new drive. All right, so now that we have power on the drive, the next thing would be to load the parameters, the parameters into the new drive. Since we have the drive connected, store to device, choose our previous parameters that we took from the last drive. Yes. So the drive is successful. All right, now let's connect to the drive. We're gonna put the drive in manual. We're gonna run the drive to make sure that we can have everything hooked up. We're gonna manually run the drive from the laptop. Alright, so now that we're in soul mode, we're going to manually connect and make sure our device is online. It is online. Alright. Go to All right, so in SOMO, you want to go to, down here to control panel. Then this little box down here is gonna pop up. Then you want to go to active. Acknowledge this. Hit okay. All right, and then right here it says run. We're gonna run. And we have Show power. The fucking convoy! And we yeah! have power. And we have power. Alright. So that means what we did was correct. We installed it correctly. Installed the parameters correctly. All through the soul move program and software. Alright, now that we're done, we just hit stop. Before we disconnect from the drive, we want to go back down here. And instead of being active, we're gonna go back to inactive. Hit okay. Then we're gonna disconnect from the drive here. 
for the communications, disconnect from drive. And then we can exit.